Hi everyone and welcome back to, well, my channel. I'm Snookus and you are amazing, I suppose. Um, this time, since our last colony went down in a fire, we everyone got an infection and died pretty much. Only one guy left standing. I thought it would be best to start off a new campaign here with a new colony. And this time, instead of playing the classic three Clashland survival, uh, experience in Crash Landed, we're gonna choose the scenario Rich Explorer, in which you only have one uh, one uh, colonist from the start, which can actually build gun turrets from the start, but also have a lot of extra resources. And I thought I would choose this as a bit of a change me up and a bit of an extra challenge. And what we're gonna do, we're not gonna play in the permadeath because I wanna be able to reload if anything bad happens with the, with the recordings or anything. So we're gonna go with rough. I don't remember which we have had, which we chose last time. What I think we chose rough then as well. And then we're gonna go with Randy Random, just to get some more excitement out of the whole deal. And yeah, it's all. Uh, he's gonna generate some random events. It's not gonna be as predictable. Savannah, I'm sure that's. Um, I'm gonna choose that seed respawn because um, because we're pretty much respawning, aren't we? And this time I'm gonna choose a bit of a different um, terrain, a bit of a different place to start off in, and I'm, I think we're gonna start off a bit more nor northern, and that's a bit too cold. I want to have a bit of a more growing period, so let's see if we can have any... Like here, maybe? Right, okay. Okay, so 11th of spring to the first of fall, mont mountainous. And this is going to be a whole different flora and fauna. Uh, since we're in a different terrain than our last campaign. Advanced, I'm gonna shoot a large this one. I, I don't remember if I actually shows a large last time as well, but we're doing it now anyway. And now we're gonna find someone that we're gonna that's gonna be me, basically. And we want someone that's pretty well rounded since we're gonna do pretty much all of the work. Um And I don't really care um, which gender we are, just that we are a good character. Uh, decent shooting, decent growing, um, pretty shit at everything else. I would like someone with somewhat of a good constru construct construction skill, since we're gonna be the sole uh, constructor and also someone that isn't shit. Okay, shooting construction but incapable of cooking, that's something we can't accept. Oh, something like this. This sounds fine, actually. Um, shooting nine with a passion, melee with a passion, even though that doesn't really matter. Somewhat, okay, terrible with medicine and cooking, but at least they've got passion, so they're gonna learn, we're gonna learn a bit quicker. A good uh, construction and good crafting and decent research. I, I think we're gonna go with Amelia here. <clears throat> Even though we're gonna rename her. Can we rename name this as well? We can. Okay. Oh, shit. Sorry. Um, what should we do here? Uh, like... Uninspired name, but you know. And... Reborn because we are reborn here, aren't we? Reborn. Um, okay. That should be nice. Here we go. Taking its sweet time loading the map, generating the map. The new simulation, hollow games, and free orgies were never enough for you. You wanted more, the grit and consequence of real life, like to talk about in the history books. You wanted to know what the real challenge and consequence feel like. Now, after a journey of decades in crypt sleep, you're landing on this unknown dream world. 
real consequence await you. Nice, okay. Um, so we are basically a spoiled uh, brat. <laughs> and uh, it's summer, nice. As you can see, uh, we have some marches, we have uh, pine trees and um, birch trees instead of oak trees. And um, I haven't seen any animals here. We've got some elk instead of um, deers. So yeah, that's it, this is pretty cool. We'll uh, we'll start off and see how uh, how it goes. I'm just gonna see if there's any ruins or something we can use instead of having to build from the start. Oh, right here. That's good enough for me. And get a lot of a lot of resources to start off with. So we're not in that much of a hurry to um, uh, um, start growing and stuff early on. Um, so let's the first of the first thing we should do is um, right get a stockpile going, which allows everything basically. I'm gonna look over, look oh, over uh, our priorities here. Uh, firefighting first, patient, doctor, even though we don't have any, anyone to doctor on, but you know, bed rest, flick, and warden. And handle isn't here because, like, yeah, there, there it is. Also, cook as soon as possible, hunt, sure. Okay, I'm basically just putting once of everything. Hall and clean. Um, yeah, I suppose I should look that over. Um, cooking, not right now. That should be as it is. Let's do it like this. Uh, plant cut. And then we can handle smithing and tailoring later on. And research shouldn't be of any relevance to start off. We need a bed and we need lots of stuff right away. Do we have any wood? We do, okay. So this is gonna be our provisional uh, little structure. We're gonna start off with hauling everything over here. Um, possibly getting the bed built first, so we have some place to sleep. <laughs> and we failed right away. Well, what can you, what can you do? And this little canyon or um, outcropping should be a decent enough start. We can wall off this place here um, in a while. You know, it's a long-term project here and here as well. And then we have a pretty large fort going where, where we can have fields and buildings. And then we can um, start mining into the mountain if we feel like doing that. It's a pretty big uh, mountainside here, which we can turn into a huge complex, if we'd like. Okay, so we're pretty much just watching um, me doing uh, a lot of hauling. I'm gonna make sure that we... Um, just finish this building first of all. And I know I could be doing it in a different way. Just gonna make sure that it's roofed. Okay, then we can uh, switch our priority back. I don't trust this. Oh, it's our warg, right. And I don't know if you uh, know this, but warg needs to eat uh, meat and corpses. Let's train this then right away in hauling and rescuing because I suppose um, this guy is going to be our only lifeline if anything goes south. Let's set up a little minor growing area here with potatoes since potatoes last a long time even if they're not uh, refri refrigerated. And um, they're also quite quick to quick quick to grow. We don't need a lot since we're only one person, so this should be fine. But we should keep an eye on um, 
the approach of winter, which it's gonna come eventually. We don't have any warm clothes for some reason. We only came here in a, with a shirt and some pants. That's quite stupid, but you know. Uh, what we're gonna do? What was I gonna do? I was gonna. Right, um, the fence. First of all, we need some power. So let's get a um, fuel generator going. This is best with a warg. Um, they basically feed themselves, at least as long as we got a lot of um, animals around. That's not what I was looking for. An animal sleeping spot right here. And This is just to start off. Um, we're gonna make a proper house with a proper bedroom and stuff, and proper um, battery room. But uh, right now we um, um, but right now we have to deal with what we got. And now that we got some power going, we're gonna. I'm gonna play some turrets, which is pre pretty much gonna be our only defense to begin with. And some sandbags so that we can stand next to our turrets and help them in case that's needed. Hey, we got a wild boar. Let's, um, well, I suppose we can let it rot because um, we're not gonna be able to do anything with it yet anyway. Uh, okay, if we... Alright, we already got a possible new settler then. Um, a new colonist. A colony settler named Jason Sauer Lemington calls you from nearby. He's being chased by pirates from Hornets Valley. Sure, we can always... No clothes. What the hell? Why is everyone arriving naked over here? Pretty much naked. I'm only wearing shirts and pants. Shirts. Shirt and pants. Okay, he... It, good social, good mining and growing. That's pretty much uh, complimentary to... Um, it's a good compliment to our skills. So he's coming from the north, uh, which means we're gonna have to... We're out of... We're out of steel. That's too bad. So let's ready up, stand behind our sandbags over here. Um, Sour, let's draft you and get you down here. You're gonna have to get a bed to you as well. Okay, so let's see. That it's just one guy with um, with a club, so um, that's gonna take a while. Well, that's not gonna be a much of a threat. I mean, but that's nice. Another um, another little thing for um, Paisley here to jump on. Hey, I suppose that's a tactic you can use instead of. Um, Instead of uh, burying, burying, burying um, enemy corpses, you can uh, put in a specially designed freezer and um, let your um, warg eat them. Gonna haul them to the Stockpile so that Sour equips it, hopefully. Equip. Are you a nudist? No. You're naked, I know, but... There, there you go. 
Um, okay, so we're gonna need to um, first off, I'm gonna build another. Okay, so this is gonna be one bedroom, and then I'm gonna build another one over here. These are some proper bedrooms for the both, and then I'm gonna. So this can be an entry into the mountain over here. If we decide to build a complex in here. And then we're gonna build... Um, I'm gonna use a lot of wood. Um, right now anyway. And hopefully we can get some stone block production uh, starting off as soon as possible. Um, this is gonna be our freezer at least our first freezer we're probably gonna place another one somewhere else later on um for that we're gonna need some power running over here so let's uh, do something like that and also um solar maybe yeah because wind is gonna be a bitch to uh, clear out all these trees so uh somewhere like here That means we're also gonna need some more iron, uh, steel even. Uh, there's no iron in this game. Much better water than I, uh, much better handler than I. Something like that. So that uh, sour hair, should we re rename him? Um, you know, um, Crusoe had his Friday, and this is what is it? It's um, it's a Tuesday, so um, we got our own Friday, but a bit of a less exciting day, a Tuesday. Unfortunately, he's not an uncivilized native, he's just a um, 39 year old male on the run from something or other. On the run from a guy with a maze, I suppose that's not really weird. I would probably run away, run away from a guy with a maze as well. I, I doubt I would stay or stick around and ask what, what the hell he was doing. Right, we... we Needed to find some steel to excavate. Uh, we got some over here. Alright, now that we have um, another mouth to feed, we should probably set up another growing zone. Something like that. Not potatoes this time, so probably rice would be good. Sure, let's go with rice. We also need to cut some trees to um, so that we have enough uh, for the extra buildings we're doing here. We're gonna allow every corpse except mechanoid, and then we're, which means that we our um, what's he called, our warg pretty much have an inf infinite supply of corpses to eat, and we're also gonna allow every kind of food, and every kind of plant matter when we, once we get it. We won't have any any rights now, but eventually we will. You know, Tuesday you could just construct this bed and then you would have a bit of a nicer place to sleep. Yeah, right, we also need um, a table and um, some chairs for Tuesday and I to um, eat at. So we got a local squirrel going mad. I'm not too worried, um, 
I have a feeling our warg is gonna deal with that. Or I would hurt. <laughs> one shot, one kill. Nice. So cool. We already got a base going, although our lonesome uh, little adventure here pretty quickly turned into a duo. Got um, quite a lot of wood. A minor break risk on someone I'm gonna check soon. Um, Tuesday I've got a... I've got a... Pine oh wow, okay, disturb sleep, that's my fault. Pessimist, that's awful. Slept outside, all of that should be rectified by the next night. In darkness, not much I can do about that. And uh, yeah, table and stuff, we're uh, working on that as well. Uh, let's get some lamps in our future homes here. Why don't we? Let's hope that Tuesday actually goes um, mining today. But that's it for this episode, I think. Um, you've been great, as usual. Please uh, leave a like if you want to see more of this new colony series. And um, see you next time. Bye!